Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation of uh, converting a GNFA into a regular expression. If you're here, then you probably know what both of these things are. This is a uh, video using uh, Michael Sipser's book, Introduction to the Theory of Computation. Um, I didn't much care for the method that he outlined in his book, and I'm here to discuss a method I have devised, and I think that this will hopefully help anyone who is still struggling with this concept to be able to actually convert GNFA into regular expressions. Now, GNFA are a type of finite state automata, uh, which are, you know, basically have regular expressions along their uh, edges. So. Let's get straight into it. For this, I'll be using a tabul tabular form of the GNFA. Uh, I decided to go with this method because I thought that a table made things a little bit clearer, a little more concise, and a little easier to read. My epsilon transitions are as uh, you would normally expect in a uh, GNFA. So, in this case, you can see we have uh, the two GNFAs here. So these are identical. Q0 goes to Q1. You can see that Q0 goes to Q1, and that's actually what these arrows represent here. We're going across and then up. And then, say, for instance, if we want to see what Q1 does, we can say that Q1 goes to Q2, Q1 goes to Q3, and it uses the regular expression A to go to Q2 and the regular expression B to go to Q3. And yes, again, these are regular expressions along the edges. So let's take a look at how we would accomplish this. Now, in a this procedure, we want to eliminate all the edges, uh, all the states, except for the start state and the end state. And the main difference between a you know uh, regular not a regular expression but a NFA and a GNFA uh, one of the important differences is that they have one start state and one end state so uh, accepting state so you have to actually convert any NFAs that you are trying to convert into this form uh, this is easy enough to do you simply add a new start state with a uh, epsilon transition to any to your new your uh, old machine with a start state and for the end states accepting states you do the same kind of thing where you add a new accepting state and you make epsilon transitions to these new uh, this new accepting state so first thing that we have to do to convert this GNFA and eliminate our Q1 is we have to identify all the transitions in and out of Q1. These transitions are Q0 goes to Q1 through epsilon, as we mentioned before. Then we also can see that Q2 goes to Q1 through alpha. Q3 goes to Q1 through beta. Q1 goes to Q2 using A or alpha, and Q1 goes to Q3 through uh, B. So this is all uh, pretty straightforward. You can see that easily from both the table, from the table, and if you were to actually use this uh, graphical representation here. So what we do from here is we want to eliminate Q1. And in order to do so, we have to find all combinations which bypass this Q1 state. So we're taking basically Q0 going to Q1, and then Q1 going to Q2, Q0 to going to Q1, and then Q1 going to Q3, and then so on and so forth. Q2 going to Q1, going to Q2, Q2 going through Q1, going to Q3. And what this allows us to do is it allows us to find all transitions, uh, all regular expressions which can express, be expressed now without Q1. And the way we're going to accomplish that is we use this equation where we are taking uh, the concatenation of these and union, union, unioning it with this last one. And let me show you how we arrived at that. So for Q0 going through Q1, we want to 
and we're trying to eliminate Q1, of course, but we want to uh, make this transition to Q2. So what you can see here is that we're starting here at this Q0 to Q1. We're concatenating it with this Q1 to Q1 uh, starred. Then we're concatenating it with Q1 to Q2. And then finally, the resulting Q0 to Q2 is going to be the union of this. So really the pattern goes, we want to concatenate, concatenate star, concatenate, and then union. That's why I actually like this table method a lot, is because you can actually visually see uh, what steps you have to take. Now, say for instance, we were trying to eliminate Q1 and making our bypass to Q3, right? We'll take this, concatenate it with this starred, which is just, of course, the null. We're going to concatenate it with this and then union it with the empty. And as you can see, that's what we did here. Um, we'll do Q2 through Q1 through Q2, right? So here we start off here, Q2, A. We concatenate it with zero or the empty uh, starred. Then we concatenate it with A and then we union it with B, and that's exactly what we did here. So using this, we're just going through each of these permutations. Now, once we do that, we're going to end up with a new uh, GNFA with Q1 eliminated, and this is the resultant of it. So you can see that we've now bypassed Q1. From here, this is just a rinse and repeat procedure. We, again, want to eliminate uh, Q2 this time. And we just need to identify the transitions in and out of Q2. So Q0 goes to Q2, Q2 goes to Q2, Q3 goes to Q2, and Q2 goes to Q3, and Q2 2 goes to Q4. Excuse me. And you trace those the exact same way as you would on this. So you can see that. Uh, Q0 goes to Q2, Q2 goes to Q2, uh, Q2 goes to Q3, and Q2 goes to Q4. So that's wh why I like this table so much, is it's just very easy, very straightforward to uh, see those transitions. Next, we need to build all the permutations. So again, we have 0, 2, and 3. We're not going to be building a transition to Q2 from itself, uh, of course. So the ones that we're going to be building, all the permutations here, are Q0 going to Q3, uh, Q3 going to Q3, Q0 going to Q4, and Q3 going to Q4. Then you can see that, again, we end up with that. And here, this is an unnecessary little bit uh, that I threw in there. I just wanted to demonstrate, since we did actually have an active Q2, that uh, we can include that transition from Q2 to Q2, uh, which essentially gives us our little star bit. Again, that's not necessary. It was just more or less a visualization of what was going on. So again, we do the exact same procedure here. If we're trying to figure out Q0 to Q3, we need to start off at Q0, and we need to end up in Q3. So we take A, we union it with AA union B, or concatenate it, I'm sorry, we take A, we concatenate it with AA union B, and we concatenate that with AB, and then finally we union that with B. And that's exactly what we did here. Um, again, I'm not going to bore you with all of the details here, but again, if we were trying to bypass going from Q3 to Q4, for instance, we would start off saying, well, we want to go from Q3 to Q4, so, and we want to do that through Q2. So we'll take this BA union A, concatenate it with this AA union B, concatenate it with this epsilon, and then and union it with this other epsilon. And that's exactly what we did here. And this will result in a new GNFA. And as you know, uh, probably can guess from now, we're going to rinse and repeat this, and uh, that's going to result in this final regular expression. 
So again, you want to eliminate Q3, you identify the bypass date, there's only one way to bypass Q3, uh, and this will be your resultant regular expression. So hopefully this was helpful, uh, hopefully this ended up clearing up any questions that you had about you know, converting a GNFA into a regular expression, and uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Thanks again, and uh, good luck.